Hey guys, how's it going? Scotty from scottsbasslessons.com. Um, today we're going to be talking about time awareness. It's something that is really, really easily to overlook. And as a bass player, it is really important that we've got great groove, great time. In fact, it's, you know, for musicians in general, it is very important that we have great groove and great time. But here I am, I'm talking to you bass geeks fellow bass geeks, so we're going to be talking about time and groove. But before we get into it, I'm going to give you some really, really great exercises, something that you might not have seen before as well. I'm going to be using a metronome, but we're going to be uh, going to be doing some swinging and doing some cool stuff with this. But before we get into that, uh, if you haven't been over to scottsbasslessons.com, make sure you do so. Check out the academy over there. It's the number one place to learn line on bass. Learn line on bass. Learn bass online even. Um, we've got live seminars every week. We've got courses, the full shenanigans. So go check that out at scottsbasslessons.com. And if you go over to scottsbasslessons.com forward slash toolkit, I'll put the link below if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, there's a ton of free resources for you to get as well, sort of like a modes mini course and backing track library. And um, I've, got, I've done this like PDF called Six Secret Tone Tools, all them shenanigans. So you can go and get that totally for free at scottsbasslessons.com forward slash toolkit or you can just click the link below this video. So anyway, let's talk about time and let's talk about feeling time, okay? It's something that's really important as bass players and musicians, but, you know, we're talking about bass today because it's expected of us and we're needed to, we need to have great groove and great time. And one of the cool ways that I like to practice this is with a metronome. Um, not like you might have seen people practice with metronomes before. This is nothing about speed or anything like that. It's just really about time awareness and using the metronome to help you feel um, different areas of the beat. Okay, so it's not we're not doing this to play fast or anything like that. It's about developing your pocket, developing your groove and the metronome, using the metronome to help you feel certain areas of the beat to help you do so. Super cool stuff, okay? Now, the easiest way and the, one of the coolest ways to do this is actually away from the bass. So we are going to be using the bass in this lesson. But to start off with, I'm just going to sing some lines with the metronome. And this is great because you can do it in the car or, you know, when you're running or in the gym, wherever you want. You know, you don't have to have your bass with you. And I actually get a lot of the academy members over at Scott's Bass Lessons, people going on holiday and asking me, I can't take, you know, my spouse won't let me take my bass. What can I do? I don't want to take two weeks off. And I'm just like, no, there's tons of, tons of exercises you can do away from the bass as well. And this is one of them. It's really cool. So here I've just set the metronome app and I've just got, it's like a, a free metronome app. You can download it if you've got a smartphone. I don't know what it's called. It looks like that. Just go to the app store, right? Metronome, you'll find it. Um, and we just put it at 100 BPM and that's just going to be the quarter note pulse, right? So one, two, three, four, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, boom. Boom, down, boom, a doom down, boom, a doom down, boom, a doom down, do down, boom, a doom down, boom, a doom down, a doom down, a doom down, boom, a doom down, a doom down, boom. So just singing that simple bass line. It could be that bass line or it could be your own bass line. Okay? So again, one, two, three, four, boom, a boom, boom, boom. Do down, do that, boom. Do down, boom. Do down, do down, do down, do down, boom. I do down, boom. Do down, do down, boom. I do down, boom. Do down, do down, do down, boom. Okay. And then what I want you to do is get the metronome, and I want to put on the up beats instead. So it's not going to be one, two, three, four. Okay. It's going to be one, two, three. Four, boom, do down, boom, do down, do they boom, do down, boom, do down, do they boom, do down, boom, do down, do down, do they boom, do down, boom, do down, do down, do down. Okay, so we've done two versions there, two versions, okay, so down beats, boom, do down, boom, do down, do they boom. Do down, boom, do down, do do, switch it round, boom, do down, down, do down, do do, boom, do down, 
Mal Klick mit Behaven. So there, all we're doing is the first one, all the clicks on the downbeats. The second one, they're in between all the downbeats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and. And what this is helping you do is feel that upbeat. Okay, this is about time awareness and beat awareness. Okay. Now there's a number three, there's a third one, and that's where we're going to put the click on the last uh, triplet of every triplet, okay? It's going to sound like this. So maybe just, you know, instead of even singing a bass line, just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and a one, two, three, four. You can even just, just find in the pocket, just clicking your fingers. Got the one, the two, and the four. One, two, three, four. Clicks on the last let of the triplets. A dee da, boom, a do da, do da. Okay, so I'm just gonna run through the, the three and then I'm gonna play the bass line, okay? First one on the down bass. Two, three, four, boom. Beat down, boom, ka do da, dee dee, boom. A dee da, boom, ka do da, dee dee. On the upbeats. One, two, three, four, boom. Dee down, do dee down, dee dee ba, dee down, do do down, dee dee ba, dee down, do do down, dee dee ba, dee down, boom, do down, dee dee. This is on the swing, on the on the lip tripper lit. Three, uh, three, uh, four, uh, boom, dee down, boom, a do down, dee dee ba, dee down. Okay, so that's given us just a really great a sense of where, you know, where the groove is and how different beats and, you know, when, you, when you're really feeling in between the beats, what it feels like to have an accent on those different parts of the beat. And it's really, it might seem easy when I'm doing it, but if you give it a try, it's, it can be a lot harder than it seems, okay? And it's just, it's going to really help your time awareness, okay? Really help your time, time awareness. Now we're going to do it on the bass, but what I, I, I would say before I do this is if you can't sing it, okay, if you, or you can't click it like I've been doing, you can't play it, okay? If you can't sing it, you can't play it. Um, what an instrument does is it, brings in this extra layer of complexity, okay? We're thinking about notes. Okay, so if you, like, if you can't sing it, you know, don't try and play it. Make sure you can sing it first and then try and play it. So the riff itself is just like a, over like a G minor, I suppose, groove. So. You don't need to use that riff, it's just an idea, okay? So let's get the click back on. Three, four. So that was on the down beats. Now on the up beats. Ah. And two, and three, and four, and Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so that's on the offbeat. So and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay. Now we're going to put it on the last triplet of every triplet. Okay. And there you can hear, even I went off a little bit in the middle. And what it does when you've got it on the swung eighth, on the, on the, on the, on the, it just gives you no room for error. And it's really good because it just means you, you really find where the quarter note pulses, but at the same time, you're feeling that... You're feeling that swing as well, which just really makes you... As I said in the title of this video, it's about the awareness of time. It's about feeling the subdivisions, knowing where they are, but also feeling them when you're doing it, okay? It's really, really beneficial to do this kind of stuff to, in your practice. In fact, if you are an Academy member, make sure you check out the Time and Groove course, okay, in the Academy course library, because it is full of exercises just like this, and a gazillion more as well that I used really to get my time to where it is today. It really helped me focus in on what I should have been. So check that out if you're an Academy member. And if you're not an Academy member, you can grab a 14 day free trial. Just hit the link below. It'll take you through to scottsbasslessons.com and you can grab your 14 day free trial there just so you can see what the Academy is all about. And, uh, and I'm absolutely sure that it will blow you away if you check it out. Other than that, guys, as always, take it easy and I'll see you in the shed. Two thousand and fifteen Kickstarter challenge. Hey everybody. Hey. Hey everybody. Hi everybody. Hello all. Hello 